Shannon Shaw. Raise. Raises the button with Queen 9. And please write down the date and time because Ludovic Geilich has just folded to a single raise. Noted. Ateo, in the big blind, defends. We know he's dominated, but in general, it's a perfectly fine spot to defend. The flop. Gives Ateo a straight. Shaw has top pair. This is grosser than the Porta Johns at Glastonbury. Shannon's got a hand that's likely to be best and likely to have plenty of equity when it's not, and neither one is true. He continues for 26,000. Right. I think a raise is perfectly reasonable here. Lots to get value from and lots to protect against. Ateo's check raises to 76,000. And we know Shannon's drawing nearly dead, but he can't really know that. Unless he's watching this broadcast at a later date, then he can't really not know. Shannon, you're in bad shape. He calls. These guys are going heads up to the turn. Which is the deuce of spades. Mateo took over the betting lead on the flop. Looks like he'll continue on the turn for pure value. More than half the pot, 118,000. He is sizing his bets really well to just work Shannon like a milk machine that don't let go till it gets 50 gallons. And Shannon will call, leaving himself less than a pot size bet behind. The river is the king of spades. Some draws came in, but none of them were flop draws. All in. A tail shoves the river, putting Shaw to the test. This is really, really close. It could go either way. In a vacuum, I lean toward a fold, but there's been enough aggression at this table to attract a predator, so I can't really blame Shannon if he calls. Call. He call. does call. Hero call gone wrong. Ouch. And Shannon Shaw will be eliminated in 28th place. AVP London. Whoever wins, Shannon Shaw loses. Mateo up over 1.2 million now. Well, Shannon did pick up one thing from his opponent. 28th place prize money. Well, Gilles has got deuces here. You saw what he did with four deuce. What about deuce deuce? He raises to 300,000. King Trey of Diamonds for Ibanovic. That's a call. The flop. Get it together, guy. I, you know, I've been biting my tongue all day. X96. <laughs> I'm sorry. Deuce is good still. And Bernie is will make a C bet of 300,000. Continuing. I wonder if he'll just blast off again. Ivanovic calls. King High would be beating plenty. The turn card is the deuce of diamonds, a set for Bernier's. Tricky. And Ivanovic has picked up a flush draw. Well, I suppose Bernier's will be blasting off now, or blasting on. I don't know what you want to call it. Roughly half pot, 600,000. Well, now Dimitri's got the nut flush draw. What is he going to do? Nothing. You got to call it. You got to support the troops. You got to call and you have the nut flush draw. Throws in six 100k chips as we go to the river. Sven, you're going to want to see this. It's red, but it's a heart leaving Dimitri with just king high. Whiffer, whiffer, chicken sniffer. He checks. Pretty safe board to go for value with a set of deuces. Go for value, he will. To the tune of 1.1 million. Now, the best indicator of future behavior is past behavior, meaning Jill might just be punting here again, as far as Dimitri's concerned. <sighs> I hear you, brah. I think Dimitri might just be overthinking this, though. He's only got King High. We saw Gilles make a bad hero call earlier. Is Dimitri going to follow in his footsteps? Yes! King high, no good. Oh, I love turning a set. And Bernie's is back in this thing. This one's for you, Sven. <laughs> well, he's yet to clash with Phil Helmuth tonight, but he could be starting another rivalry with the other Phil. Speaking of Helmuth, pocket fives. And he'll just call with Presto. Limpy, limpy. Neary out. 
Elky with 9-8 off makes the call. Lock folds and Perkins is out. Perkins actually saw a hand he couldn't play. Did we get it on tape? Martinez with big slick. I wonder how you say big slick in Italian. All Italians are pretty slick. And he raises to 2,400. Including this one. Helmuth quickly calls. Elky's done. Well, round one of the greatest of all time versus online qualifier went to the qualifier. Here we go again. See, and there's Perkins with that whistling again. Eight tray, 10 rainbow. The cannon has missed, but he's first to act. Well, we know what he thinks of Helmuth's play. He's reaching for chips. Maybe he's going to try to bully him here. Bet's 2,600. Phil may not hate this board. Raise three. He doesn't. Raises it to 5,600. I couldn't bluff him the first time. You could do anything you want. You are the man with more bracelet in the world. I tried. You called me last time. Phil's raising here to try to protect himself from being outdrawn or getting bluffed on a later street since there aren't a lot of turn cards he's going to like. Martinez makes the call. This can sometimes look pretty obvious, though, and our loose cannon showed pretty good instincts so far. Turn tray of diamonds. Martinez checks. It's actually a pretty good card for Phil. And he bets 5,000. Max doesn't really respect Phil all that much. He may try to outplay him. I'm milking a little bit this hand. I'm not comfortable talking about milking. <laughs> Phil's table talk is a little polarizing. People are usually telling the truth or they're lying. I'm not sure what it is in this case. And Martinez just calls again. Looks like Max thinks Phil's just barreling. To the river. Five of spades, Phil with a boat, and he's loving this. Helmuth catches another late game set. Max with nothing but ace-king high. And checks it. Phil's best chance of getting paid here is to try to make it look like a bluff. Yes, Phil, you did river a full house. 22,000. Fires 22K. This is for three quarters of the pot and could be a good way to level Max into thinking he's just trying to run another big bluff. Thinking of calling me with ace king high? Yep. Hmm. Probably King Gang is good. The loose cannon is now actually up a bunch, and if he wasn't afraid to make a hero call before, he might be less afraid to do it now. If you lose this end, you reload? You reload? If you lose? Holy smoly. Yeah. How much? That's gotta be music to Phil's ears. How much should we do? <laughs> 50 is minimum, max. Yeah. I know. For the record, this is Phil's sixth appearance on the show. He's down over 340,000, and he's only reloaded once. Looks like Max is seriously considering making this hero call. He does. He's got a full house. Pretty sure that beats ace high. And I know I don't say this often on this show, but well played, Phil Helmuth. O'Dwyer first to act here. Queen four off. That's a raise. A7 suited for Sipple. Call. Oh. He defends. Okay. Okay. The flop gives O'Dwyer top pair. Now let's see if Steve can do some damage with a hand he can be a little more confident in. Roger checks. Steve does not continue. He checks behind. Steve, I think, wants Sipple to barrel into him on the turn and maybe the river. Well, the board pairs on the turn. Steve now a huge favorite. Sipple checks a second time. Not barreling. So a delayed C bet from O'Dwyer. 300,000. Sipple with just ace high calls. Pretty quick call with just ace high and no draw, but I think it's okay. Another eight on the river. O'Dwyer now with a full house. Actions on Sipple. He checks for a third time. If Roger thought he could have the best hand before, he might still think that now. Nearly 1.2 million in the pot. O'Dwyer going for value. How much is that? 750. In general, this river card's a really bad card to bluff on, so I don't think Steve's gonna be bluffing very often here. Especially once he gets called on the turn. 
Sipple considering a hero call. Ever queen. E. Nice hand. Nice tiny bet sizing by Steve too. Knew how to rope in ace high like throwing a rubber band around a greasy ponytail. Ace nine for Danny Tang in the cutoff. Starts the hand with 21 bigs. A little bit too deep to want to open shove here. But certainly a hand strong enough for an open. Probably pretty happy for a raise and take it here. Don't see too many of those these days. 165,000. Dimov has folded the button. John Juanda is in the small blind. With Jack Deuce. Nah. So, Pedro Marques. Like 1.8, right? Ten I three start with 1.7. He likes to defend with a pretty wide range. As long as that wide range is suited. Marquish does indeed call the race. Hey ya! Marquish flops trips. Checks the action to Danny Tang. Just ace high. Two overs to the board. Does not see bet. Checks behind. And given Marquish's wide defense in the big blind, ace nine high is still going to be the best hand a lot of the time. We can see that he is now drawing dead on the 10 turn, a full house for Marquesh. Marquesh takes over the betting lead. Into a pot 450,000, he bets 375,000. It's a huge sizing. It is a spot he's going to want to be betting a lot of the time. Danny Tang checking back 3-3 three, three deuce. There are going to be a lot of ace highs, king highs that Marquish will look to fold out if he has a hand like 4-5 or 4-6. It looks like Danny Tang's going nowhere. Well, I hope for his sake that he completely bricks the river. Oh, he pairs his nine. He's asking for more time. Plays the time bank card. Will he threaten Danny Tang's tournament life at the river? Is he time banking here for, wow, for deception or trying to think of a sizing? I think given his sizing on the turn, his sizing on the river is always going to be that He's already in. decided it. Yeah. Deception he for sure. And now... This polarizing bet puts Tang in a tough spot. He puts in all his time bank cards? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the dealer will only take the ones he uses. Now, we have seen Marquise bluff before. Yesterday, he check shoved all in. A monster bluff. So he is very capable of doing this with a load of hands that are not a full house, like four fives and six fours and backdoor diamonds. And, and everyone's seen that at this point too. Exactly. By no means an easy decision for Danny Tang. Oh, why does he have to hit that nine? Well, he's gonna be on his final time bank card soon and then the dealer's gonna count him down to zero. He's called, and he's out. Nice hand. Uh, GG, guys. Makes the hero call, discovers he's up against the full house, and Danny Tang is eliminated in 13th place, cashing for 88,250 euros.